Mercury is the smallest, densest and least explored planet in our solar system. However, its close proximity to the Sun and other unique features make it an intriguing case study in planetary science. Here are some of the biggest mysteries about Mercury. Mercury's incredibly thin atmosphere is unstable with gases regularly escaping the planet's weak gravity. So why can't it retain a thicker atmosphere and how does its atmosphere get constantly replenished is still unclear. Researchers suspect that the hydrogen and helium in Mercury's atmosphere is continuously brought there by the solar winds. Other gases might have evaporated off Mercury's surface, seeped from inside the planet or brought in by vaporized meteorites. Mercury is the closest planet to the Sun. This means that its orbit is many times faster than any of the others in the solar system. Because of its proximity to the Sun, Mercury experiences extreme temperature fluctuations, with daytime temperatures soaring to over 430 degrees Celsius and nighttime temperatures dropping down to around negative 180 degrees Celsius. This is the largest temperature range in the solar system, and the mystery lies in understanding how the planet manages such extreme temperature swings. Mercury's formation and early evolution are also subjects of scientific curiosity. Data from NASA's MESSENGER spacecraft which orbited Mercury in the past revealed that there is too much potassium as compared to thorium on the surface of Mercury. Potassium evaporates very quickly in a hot environment while thorium survives even in very high temperatures and planets that form closer to the Sun usually have more thorium as compared to potassium. The ratio of potassium to thorium on Mercury, however, is comparable to that of Mars, which is much farther away from the Sun. This has led some scientists to think of the possibility that Mercury may have formed farther away from the Sun about as far as Mars and was thrust closer to the star by a collision with another large body. Mercury is about 4878 kilometers in diameter, which makes it slightly smaller than the moons Ganymede and Titan. However, Mercury is more than twice as massive due to its relatively high density that is second only to the Earth's. This high density is the result of Mercury's large iron core, which makes up about two-thirds of the planet's mass. The origin of such a massive core in proportion to the planet's overall size remains a subject of debate. Although Mercury appears too small to have a magnetic field, it does have one even though it is 100 times weaker than the magnetic field of Earth. Mercury's magnetic field also appears shifted 400 kilometers to the north and not centered in the middle of the planet like that of Earth. Planets generate magnetic fields only if they spin quickly and possess a molten core. So, since Mercury takes 59 days to rotate, it must also have a molten core. Unlikely to host life with a dry, seemingly dead surface, Mercury's surface is marked by extensive craters, cliffs, faults and dents. The cause of these geological features and whether they are still actively forming is still a mystery. 
The dents or hollows on the planet specially appear to be fairly recent and appear to be caused by the evaporation of material from inside Mercury. Scientists are not totally sure about the process driving the creation of these hollows however, as it might also be caused by the heat or by solar particles bombarding the surface of the planet. Despite its scorching surface temperatures, radar observations have revealed the presence of water ice in Mercury's polar regions. Scientists don't think the ice comes from Mercury directly and its origin is another mystery. Comets are the likeliest source of water on Earth, but not many are believed to have struck Mercury in the past. Comets in this region are quite rare and usually end up in the sun because of its strong gravity. Therefore, the ice may have come from asteroids that have collided with Mercury throughout its evolution. And due to the cold temperatures in the shaded craters of Mercury, the ice may have survived there for tens of millions of years. With its crater-ridden dusty surface, Mercury might seem quite similar to the Earth's natural satellite, the Moon, at least at first glance. At closer inspection and for reasons that scientists don't yet understand, Mercury appears much darker. The planet reflects only about two-thirds as much light as material collected from the Moon. There are various explanations as to why Mercury is as dark as it is. It's possible that the material on its surface is similar to what we can see on other planets, but the extreme heat on Mercury makes those materials appear darker. There is also a possibility that what we see on the surface is graphite, which is very dark as well. A graphite-rich layer could have formed inside the planet as it was cooling down. Some of this material then may have been brought to the surface during further evolution. Mercury's geological activity is still not well understood. The planet's surface also shows signs of tectonic activity. But the mechanisms behind this activity and whether it is ongoing are unclear.